Once upon a time, in a small village in India, there lived a young man named Himmel. Himmel was a hard-working and ambitious person, but he often found himself struggling with anxiety and stress. Despite his efforts to stay focused and productive, he would often lay awake at night, feeling overwhelmed and unable to relax. One day, Himmel decided to seek guidance from Gautam Buddha, who was known throughout the land for his wisdom and compassion. After traveling for many miles, Himmel arrived at Buddha's monastery, where he was greeted by the great teacher himself. Welcome, my friend, said Buddha. What brings you to my humble abode? Himmel bowed his head respectfully and replied, Master, I am seeking your guidance. I am a hard-working person, but I often struggle with anxiety and stress. I find it difficult to relax at night and get a good night's sleep. Buddha listened attentively and then smiled warmly. I understand your troubles, Immel. Sleep is essential for the body and mind to rest and rejuvenate. I can offer you some advice that will help you relax and prepare for a peaceful night's sleep. Himmel was eager to hear Buddha's advice and listened intently as he shared the five things that Himmel should do before sleeping. Number 1. Reflect on the day. Before you go to bed, take a few moments to reflect on your day. Buddha advised Himmel. Think about the things that went well and the things that didn't go as planned. Reflect on the lessons you learned and the experiences that enriched your life. Gratitude is an essential element of a peaceful mind. Himmel took Buddha's advice to heart and began reflecting on his day before going to bed. He found that this practice helped him focus on the positive aspects of his life rather than dwelling on the negatives. Number 2. Forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness is an essential component of a peaceful mind, said Buddha. Before you go to bed, forgive yourself for any mistakes you made during the day. Forgive others who may have wronged you. Let go of any anger or resentment that may be holding you back. Hamel had struggled with forgiveness in the past, but he began practicing forgiveness before going to bed. He found that this practice helped him let go of negative emotions and allowed him to sleep more peacefully. Number 3. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is the key to a peaceful mind, Buddha explained. Before you go to bed, practice mindfulness meditation. Focus on your breath and bring your attention to the present moment. Let go of any thoughts or worries that may be distracting you. Hemmel began practicing mindfulness meditation before going to bed. He found that this practice helped him let go of his worries and allowed him to fall asleep more easily. Number 4. Write down your thoughts. Sometimes, our thoughts can be overwhelming, said Buddha. Before you go to bed, write down your thoughts in a journal. This practice can help you process your emotions and release any worries or concerns. Hemmel began writing in a journal before going to bed. He found that this practice helped him organize his thoughts and allowed him to let go of any worries that may be keeping him up at night. Number 5. Show compassion. Finally, before you go to bed, show compassion for others, said Buddha. Think about someone in your life who may be struggling and send them positive thoughts and prayers. Compassion is the key to a peaceful heart. Hemmel began practicing compassion before going to bed. He found that this practice helped him focus on the needs of others, rather than his own worries and concerns. Over time, Hemmel's practice of these five things before sleeping became a regular part of his nightly routine. He found that by following Buddha's advice, he was able to calm his mind and prepare for a peaceful night's sleep. His anxiety and stress levels decreased and he began to feel more at peace with himself and the world around him. One night, as Himmel was following his routine, he realized that he had not expressed his gratitude to Buddha for the wisdom he had shared. He decided to write a letter to express his appreciation and thanks. My dear Buddha, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for your guidance and wisdom. Your teachings have helped me find peace and tranquility in my life. The five things you advised me to do before sleeping have become an essential part of my routine, and I can't imagine my life without them. 
Thank you for being a beacon of light in my life. Hemwal sent the letter to Buddha's monastery, and a few weeks later, he received a reply. My dear Hemwal, it warms my heart to hear that my teachings have helped you find peace and tranquility. Remember, the key to a peaceful mind is to focus on the present moment, to let go of negative emotions, and to cultivate compassion and gratitude in your heart. Continue to practice these things, and you will find that your life will become more peaceful and fulfilling. Himmel was overjoyed to receive Buddha's response, and he felt a renewed sense of motivation and inspiration to continue his practice. Years passed, and Himmel became known in his village as a kind and compassionate person. He was respected for his wisdom and his ability to bring peace and harmony to those around him. He continued to follow Buddha's advice and lived a life filled with love, compassion and gratitude. One day, a young person came to him, seeking guidance on how to find peace in their life. Heimel smiled and began to share with them the five things that Buddha had taught him many years ago. As he spoke, he realized that the lessons he had learned from Buddha had become a part of his very being. They were no longer just words of wisdom, but they had become a way of life. In the end, Himmel realized that the true gift of Buddha's teachings was not just the wisdom he had imparted, but the transformation it had brought to his life. By following Buddha's advice, he had become a better person, more compassionate, and more at peace with himself and the world around him. And so, the legacy of Gautam Buddha continued to spread, as each person who learned his teachings found their own path to peace and enlightenment. And in the end, they realized that the true gift of Buddha's wisdom was not just knowledge, but the transformation it brought to their lives. What we have learned from the story. The story of Haimal and Gautam Buddha teaches us several valuable lessons. Firstly, it emphasizes the importance of taking care of our mental health by cultivating a nightly routine that allows us to unwind and let go of the stresses of the day. By practicing mindfulness, gratitude and compassion, we can achieve a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Secondly, the story highlights the transformative power of wisdom and guidance from a wise teacher or mentor. In Himmel's case, Gautam Buddha's teachings not only helped him find peace and tranquility in his life, but also transformed him into a more compassionate and wise person. Thirdly, the story shows us the importance of expressing gratitude and appreciation to those who have had a positive impact on our lives. By doing so, we not only show our gratitude, but also reinforce our connection with them and acknowledge the wisdom they have shared with us. Lastly, the story reminds us that the true value of knowledge is not just in acquiring it, but in applying it to our lives and allowing it to transform us into better human beings. By following the teachings of Gautam Buddha, Himmel was able to live a life filled with love, compassion and gratitude, and in doing so, he became an inspiration to those around him.